Another type of clarification process is the solids contact basin. The solids contact basin is known by several names which include upflow clarifier, a solids contact clarifier, a sludge blanket clarifier. These are the three uh, different ways that the solids contact basin can be described. These units are circular and contain equipment to facilitate mixing, flow circulation, and there are two distinct zones in the solids contact basin, which are the mixing zone, and this takes place uh, in the center portion of the basin, and the settling zone, which takes place in the outer portion of the basin. The coagulants are added to the mixing zone, where the raw water enters the tank, and flocculation occurs in the reaction area where the flock is gently mixed. So the the mixing zone specifically is in the very center uh, zone where the coagulant is added and then moving outward from that mixing zone is the reaction area, not necessarily a distinct zone but just the flocculation area or the reaction area and then the water flows outward to the settling. The water flows underneath the reaction area cone and is then directed upward through the sludge blanket. The sludge blanket acts as a filter and retains the flock while the clarified water continues upward toward the effluent launder. The sludge blanket depth is carefully maintained by either wasting or recycling. The advantages of the solids contact basin are it allows for faster flocculation due to the sludge recycling. It has a shorter detention time so you can handle higher flow rates. Uh, the disadvantage is it's easily upset by rapid changes in water temperature. Flow fluctuations uh, can upset the sludge blanket. So those are the two main disadvantages. This process works. Water flows into the center, into the mixing zone, and that's where the coagulant is added. So the chemical is fed into this mixing zone uh, where there's rapid mixing and then it flows outward towards this reaction uh, flocculation area. So you've got this uh, coagulation happening in the mixing zone and then flocculation happening in this outer areas of this cone. The water then flows underneath this reaction cone and forms a sludge blanket at the bottom of the clarifier. So any water leaving this center chamber has to go through the sludge blanket and then flow upward. And that's where the phrase upflow clarifier comes from. Well, any flock or the, the particles tend to get caught in the sludge blanket. So that sludge blanket acts as a filter to trap the flock so that it doesn't float upward. And then as the water flows up, that is the settling zone. And uh, the purified or clarified water flows over the effluent weirs into the effluent launders. And again I'm pointing out down here this area right here where the sludge blanket uh, occurs down at the bottom portion is a very important control uh, mechanism in the upflow clarifier because it uh, it helps to filter uh, the flock coming out and to clarify the water. So maintaining a proper sludge blanket through a proper sludge wasting rates is very important for the operator to pay attention to.